Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best luxury bags that are under $1,500. There have been so many price increases that I wanted to put together a list of some of my favorite bags that I own that are under $1,500. Of course, $1,500 is still expensive. However, in the luxury market for luxury handbags, it's actually a relatively good price, which I know sounds absolutely crazy. And I was actually so disappointed because I knew that Chanel increased their price. I knew Louis Vuitton increased their price, but I was looking at some of my my favorite Saint Laurent handbags and I noticed they had a price increase as well. Now it didn't look like the price increase was on all of the handbags but there are a couple of my favorites that they did include price increases on so I was a little disappointed about that. So with all these price increases I wanted to put together a list of some of my favorite bags that I currently own that are in my collection that I absolutely love that I could recommend that are under $1,500. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what the best luxury bags are under $1,500, then keep watching. So I am filming this in my closet right now and I'm standing up because it's going to be easy for me to access the bags. If you guys haven't seen my closet transformation where I do a full tour of my closet that I got from Ikea, make sure to check that out. I will link that down below. And I do want to mention this top right here is so cute. I got it from Amazon. I'm a huge fan of peplum tops, not only peplum tops, but like lace and sheer. So I will be sure to link this one down below. So now let's get right into the video. The first handbag that I want to mention is this little cutie right here. This is the Saint Laurent Mini Lou camera bag. It is absolutely beautiful and it retails for $1,150. This bag comes in multiple colors, but I wanted to add a pop of color to my collection because a lot of times I gravitate more towards black bags. So I got this beautiful red and I think it's just absolutely stunning. But let me break it down and tell you why I think this is a great bag for your money. The leather is extremely extremely durable. So therefore it's going to do really, really well with wear and tear. I have had this bag for quite some time and you can see there is little to no wear and tear. It does have a back pocket, but keep in mind, some of you ask if your phone will fit in it. I have the iPhone XR and it won't fit, but you can slip a card holder in there for easy access. Like if you need to reach out and get your ID, I have also done a what's in my bag. So I will link that down below as well, but this bag is great because it's mini, but it fits a ton. So it has the beautiful durable leather. It comes with this really pretty strap and you get the leather shoulder strap. And the interior has some slots here for cards and then it's just one large compartment. But as I stated, it is mini size, however it fits a ton. Now you can wear this as a shoulder bag like this or you can wear it as a crossbody. My one thing with a crossbody, it does fit a little higher than most. I like my crossbodies to be a little low. This does not have an adjustable strap, so keep that in mind. However, it is a great, great bag, and if you're looking to invest in a Saint Laurent bag, this is going to hold up for so long. I've really, really been loving this bag I have, and like I said, it does fit all of your essentials, and I will link that video down below if you wanna see what fits. So. It's a little bag, however, a lot of times with mini bags, I find you can't fit that much, but the one thing I love about this is you can fit a ton. So that is why this is one of the bags on my list for best handbags under $1,500. Okay, the next bag I wanna mention is a really, really, really good work bag. This is the Sen Rev Midi Meister bag. Once again, this comes in a ton of different shades. This is an amazing work bag, and it's great when it comes to keeping you organized. It just really really like the way that it opens so it has this button closure you open it like this you can see the interior of this bag is the beautiful blue suede it has a compartment in the back and then it has a slot for your phone as well as for some cards it's just great for organization on the back of the bag there is a slot right here which is where you can place your phone which is really convenient but this bag another really cool thing about it is the leather is really really durable so you're not going to have to baby this bag you can wear it multiple ways you can wear it on your shoulder like this 
you can wear it crossbody. Now it will sit a little high, but even when you wear it crossbody, it's very easy to reach in. It's very functional. And then the really, really cool thing about this bag is you can wear it as a book bag. You pull the straps like this, put it over your shoulder and you can wear it as a book bag. So if you're a mom on the go, you can have your bag like this. If you're working and you have to like walk a far distance and you don't feel like putting it over your shoulder, I just think that's cute and chic and I love the versatility of it. Plus, not to mention, you can fit a ton. And once again, I won't go into too much detail on these bags because I have done dedicated videos. I will link the video down below in where I discuss this Midi Meister bag. Again, it comes in multiple sizes, but I think this size is the perfect size. I love the durable leather. This is just a great overall bag, under 1500, and you're gonna love it for work. Jumping over this way, another bag that is my absolute favorite, and this is gonna come as no surprise if you guys have been watching me for a long time, it is the Alma BB. This retails for $1430, so it is under the $1500 threshold. I just love the cute bowling bag design of it. I love that the bag has feet on the bottom because and you don't have to worry about the bottom getting dirty. I love that you can remove the shoulder strap and you have the top handle so you can carry it on the crook of your arm like so. It has this absolutely stunning red interior. Um, there is one slit compartment there in which you can put some cards, but other than that, just one large compartment. And you can attach the strap, which it's not adjustable. You know, that's one my ma main complaint with it. It's not adjustable, but it still fits at a good length right here. So you can wear it crossbody and you can also wear it as a long shoulder bag as well. But this is great. Very similar to the YSL mini camera bag in the sense where you can fit a lot. So it's little and cute, but you can fit a ton. This is just a great bag. And I have to tell you for under $1,500, it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay, the next bag I wanna mention is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. You guys, I love this bag, and if you want, I have done a comparison video between the Gucci Soho Disco Bag and the YSL Camera Bag. I will link that down below as well in case you wanna get a little more detail, but this bag retails for $1,190. The leather is so like buttery smooth. It's very flexible. I like that it's kind of understated, like even though it has the Gucci logo on it, because it is all one color, it's not not like in your face. It, it does come with an adjustable strap. It has this tassel and then the inside here you can see it's just one large compartment and it also has a pocket. Now I have mentioned that I had an opened pen in this purse and it leaked all over so just be mindful. The interior of the bag if it does get dirty it is a little hard to clean because of the material but let me tell you my favorite thing about this bag. There are actually two favorite things. So first you can wear it as a crossbody here but the thing I love is even when this bag is full which you can fit a lot just like the others it is so comfortable to wear if you guys are looking for a good crossbody bag to wear on a daily basis you can wear it to work you can wear it with your casual outfits I would definitely recommend this it is so incredibly comfortable and that is one of my favorite things about it so again I will put that other video down below in the event you want to see a little more details about it but this is a great one it also comes in nude and it also comes in red and I've actually contemplated getting the nude one but it is just so pretty and I've gotten so much use out of it okay the next bag I want to mention is actually a clutch and it retails for $475 and it is the Saint Laurent uptown clutch I feel like this is perfect Everyone needs a good clutch in their collection, especially if they're gonna to go to weddings or special occasions. So I have it in black with the gold hardware, but keep in mind, it does also come in a beautiful nude shade. You can't, it is a very flat clutch. So you can't fit a ton, but I see you can fit the essentials like your phone. So let me go ahead and put my iPhone 10 in there and you can close. It doesn't have a button closure. It's magnetic, which is really, really nice, but I think it just looks chic. And like I said, I feel as though 
Everyone needs a good clutch in their collection, either a nude one or a black one, especially for special occasions. And this is a really, really good one. Not only is it under 1500, but it's also under a thousand. So I definitely wanted to mention it. Okay. Now we're going to talk about one of my favorite, favorite, favorite crossbody bags. And it's the St. Laurent camera bag. So you saw the mini camera. Well, this is the regular camera bag. I love this bag. And as I stated before, I did do a comparison video between this one and the Gucci Soho. So you're going to have to watch that video to see which one I liked better. This is just beautiful. It has the chevron quilting, the beautiful YSL logo, which some people might not like it because they think it's kind of in your face, but I love the YSL logo. I think it looks so chic. It doesn't have a back pocket. It has a tassel and then it does come with an adjustable strap. The only thing that I don't like, do you see how this puckers up? So I am going to have to either put some double-sided tape or some of you had great suggestions where I could put like a clear rubber band to hold it down, but I do love the fact that it's adjustable. I love where it hits crossbody and because it is a flatter bag, once again, it's super, super comfortable to wear. On the inside, I just have some change at the bottom. There is a pocket here and then it's just one large compartment. It's laid out very similar to the Gucci Soho. This is a great bag, priced really, really well. This is priced at $1,290, which is an increase from what I paid. Oh my gosh, I hate that these brands are doing so many increases. But that's why I wanted to mention, if you are on the hunt for a bag under 1500, this is a great, great bag. It comes in a ton of colors and it's just so chic and comfortable. Definitely one of my favorite crossbody bags. Okay, the next bag I wanna mention, you know that I had to mention the Louis Vuitton. This is the Speedy 35. Now, I do not wear this bag as much as I should, but that doesn't mean it's not one of the best bags. This is just a classic to have in your collection. And for Louis Vuitton, it's priced really, really well. It's $1,180. This right now, it comes in, this is in the Damier Ben, but it also comes in the Damier Azur as well as the monogram. This is just really chic. You carry it on the crook of your arm. The only reason I don't really carry it that much is when you put a lot in it, it can have a tendency to be a little heavy. I've mentioned before that if I were to get this one again, I probably would have gotten the bandolier. However, the bandolier retails for $1,660, so that is above the $1,500 $1, threshold. But I do want to mention this. It comes with a lock. This here was one of my first Louis Vuitton purchases, so I don't think that I'll ever get rid of it. I just still remember going to the boutique and purchasing it, and I think at the time I got it for around $800, and like I said, now it's almost $1,200, which is crazy. But the reason this is so good is this this is there it fits so much it really really does this is a great bag and I think this is a really good starter bag um, other than the Neverfull to get from Louis Vuitton it's just really really great so I would definitely recommend this I definitely need to start carrying it a little more great great Louis Vuitton bag the next bag I want to mention is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull now I have to tell you I am talking about bags that I own now I own the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size now this GM retails for $1580 so I would probably say if you want to go under $1,500. You could get the MM size, which is $1,500. And then there's also the PM size, which is smaller. I love the large size. I don't carry this one a ton. However, when I travel, this is my go-to. I have two of these. I have one in the monogram with the beautiful Pivon interior. And then, and then I also have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull with the beautiful rose ballerine interior. Um, with these, I would definitely recommend recommend getting some sort of bag organizer because it is large but you also get little clutches that come with it which you can use to put your makeup in um receipts you know just as like a just as like a catch-all in your bag you can also use it as a clutch just really like it so like i said this one in particular um, is the gm size this is 1580 but i have actually had the mm size on my wish list in the damier event with the rose ballerine interior i think that would look so pretty but again this is perfect when it comes to travel you can fit everything here i have carried this with me to the mall with my daughter and she'll be like here's my coat here's this here's that and i just keep dumping things in the bag this is great you can cinch the 
sides if you don't want it to look slouchy. This is a perfect work bag as well. And I love the fact that it comes in the monogram Damier Azur and Damier Aben. The final bag that I want to mention that retails for under $1,500, it's actually under $1,000. It's a really good bag, and you guys actually ask me about it a lot, but I don't think I've recent it, uh, mentioned it recently on my channel. And I'm talking about, this is the Gucci Super Mini Marmot. How cute is this bag? This retails for $890, so it is under $1,000, which is amazing. It is black. It also comes in nude, and it comes in red. The back has this adorable little heart, has a button closure, has this chain right here. So I like to wear it um, crossbody like this, super cute, but this is another one of those bags that even though it's mini, it can fit a ton, and let me show you an example. So you can see it has a little compartment. You wouldn't think all this could fit. This is my iPhone 10, and it fits, and then I have a little card holder that I can put in, and then you can put some lipstick. Let me go ahead and grab some little this is some Gucci lip balm that I can put in there and you can see there's even a little more room so if I wanted I could go ahead and put a key clay so again my phone a card holder my key clay this is a cute little bag but it really can fit a lot and that's why I want to recommend it especially coming in for $890 it has the really really cute GG logo I just love this I especially love the fact that it comes in a red and a nude and this is another bag that I was kind of considering getting a different color I think that pop of red would be really really cute those are, in my opinion, the best luxury handbags under $1,500 that I own in my collection. I'm sure there are a lot of other wonderful bags, but these are the bags that I have the most experience with, so I wanted to mention those to you. Like I said, bags can be really, really expensive, and if you only have a certain amount of money to spend and you don't want to exceed that $1,500 threshold, I would definitely recommend these bags. So make sure to check out all those videos I mentioned in the video down below. If you want a little more detail on the bags, I will also be sure to find all of these bags and link them down below in the event you're on the market for one of them. And I will link this shirt down below as well. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. I'd love to have you join my little YouTube family. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of flat lays and outfit pics, and I'd love to have you join me over there as well. And still have this Chanel unboxing where I purchased two items that I want to share with you. I have had these items for quite some time, but I just haven't unboxed them yet. So stay tuned for that. I plan on doing that video very soon. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video.